Welcome to another sneak peek of the upcoming version 3 of Pianoscope, the professional piano tuning app for iPhone and iPad. In this episode I'll introduce a new feature in Pianoscope 3, multi-channel recording. To understand its purpose, let's first explore the problem it addresses. When tuning in the high treble, you might notice that the pitch display can be inconsistent. One attack shows the indicator near zero, while the next might be four cents sharp. This variation often depends on where you position your iPhone or iPad. So, why does this happen? Um, sometimes interference from resonating undamped or duplex strings can cause it, but using the freeze function generally helps focus on the attack of the actively tuned string. However, there is another factor at play, false beats. False beats are common in the high treble, even on fine instruments. Often exceeding 10 Hz, they are typically too fast to be clearly audible. To see how Pianoscope handles this in its internal analysis, let's examine the spectrum of a high treble note. The spectrum analyzer is not part of Pianoscope, but it's a tool I use for its development. We'll record an A sharp 7 on a Yamaha upright using the iPhone's built in microphone. Here you see the frequency spectrum of the first partial. The horizontal axis represents frequency in hertz, and the vertical axis represents amplitude in decibels. You can see that Pianoscope identified a strong peak and estimates its frequency at 3831.43 Hz, currently around 3 cents sharp of the tuning target. Notice the second peak to the left with a lower amplitude and a frequency about 15 Hz flat. <clears throat> Together these peaks create a false speed of 15 Hz. Let's move the iPhone a few inches, inches to the left and record again. This recording looks similar to the first, but with a slightly reduced amplitude. Now, let's move the device a bit more. Now you'll see the mic captures the left frequency more strongly than the right. Because the pianos pianoscope focuses on the strongest peak, the displayed pitch has shifted by 7 cents now, creating inconsistent readouts that can confuse the user. But why does the amplitude of one of the frequencies vary with location, while the other remains steady? I don't have a definitive answer, but I suspect that different transverse modes are at work on the string. One moving vertically, the other horizontally, each amplified differently by the soundboard. If anyone knows more, please let me know. I'd love to learn more about it. So, how can we improve pitch consistency in the presence of false beats? In version 2.5, Pianoscope introduced the falseness tolerance setting. The app considers weaker peaks within the blue area around the strongest peak and calculates an average shown by the red line to drive the pitch display. Let's compare mic positions with this setting. You see, here the variance is pretty low, only some hundredths of a cent. Now let's try another position. Here the left peak is over 12 dB weaker and close to the noise floor, so Pianoscope doesn't pick it up, resulting in an again inconsistent pitch display. Pianoscope 3 now aims to enhance this with a, with a new experimental feature, multi-channel recording. Newer iPhones and iPads come with multiple microphones. An iPhone Pro, for example, has four, and an iPad Pro has even five. Pianoscope 3 can simultaneously record audio from each microphone and perform a statistical analysis. 
Let's redo our spectrum with four microphones at once. With the microphones being in slightly different spots, this additional data helps make pitch estimation more consistent in the presence of false beats. Even without false beats, using multiple microphones improves pitch precision almost as if your ear were in several locations at once. Now let's try different notes with the multiple channel analysis. A7 G sharp 7 G7 F sharp 7 E7 D sharp 7 D7. You see, we have false beats in many of these notes, but not in all of them. You'll find the new feature in the audio input settings. By tapping the level bars, you can enable or disable individual microphones. On iPhones and iPads with a USB port, you can also connect multi-channel USB audio interfaces. For instance, I experimented with a budget-friendly 7-channel USB microphone array, which even provides good results in noisy environments. So, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for part 4 of the sneak preview of Pianoscope 3.